This is Kathleen Bonzik, and the following are three things to know about mishires in 180 seconds. Have you ever experienced the dreaded mishire? The following will help you avoid hiring the wrong person for the right job. Number one, planning is key. Never rush through the recruiting process. Don't go into an interview cold and don't create questions on the spot. If you don't have time to prepare, reschedule the interview. Planning includes having a written list of pertinent questions that probe the candidate's skills, knowledge, and experience relative to the position. Take notes for reference purposes and to memorialize the interview should the applicant challenge your decision not to hire him or her later. Second, engage in active listening. Once you've asked your question, stop talking. Clear your mind of internal noise. Avoid thinking about your busy day ahead. Don't multitask. Don't respond to emails or to incoming texts during the interview. Instead, focus 100% of your energies on listening to the candidate's responses and nonverbal cues, what is being stated and how it's being said. If you don't understand or have missed something that the candidate has said, don't move on. Ask for clarifying information. Third, legal considerations. Never discuss the applicant's protected class status, even if he or she invites you to do so. Avoid questions that focus on the applicant's age, disability, gender, race, color, religion, national origin, and so forth. Should the interviewee volunteer such information, simply move on. Your time is better served focusing on determining whether the applicant is right for the job. Moreover, you don't want an unsuccessful applicant to assert in litigation that he or she was not hired because of your alleged bias towards his or her protected class status, and then referencing your lengthy discussion on that very topic during the interview in support of such a claim. Deciding whether to convert an applicant into a team member where he or she will have access to your customers, prospective clients, other team members, proprietary information, and confidential documents is important business. This is Kathleen Bonzik. Thank you for listening.